What is up everyone out there? My name is Rudy and welcome to Astroneer. Today we're going to be learning how to use the drill head. So what is the drill head all about? It's not a hat, it doesn't go on your head, you can't sit on it. You may have noticed you can also put the drill on the front of your truck, but you may have noticed it is pretty subpar in that regard. Always falling off and such and then you have to go running after it before it falls into a cave and is irretrievable for all eternity. All right, so the proper way to use a drill is by putting a crane on your truck. You can see here I have a truck with a crane. You take the drill and you attach it to the nodes on the top of the crane, and then you get in your truck and you locate something you would like to mine or excavate. And right here we happen to have some aluminum. Now, of course, this aluminum ore can be mined with your regular terrain tool. Yeah, laterite. But you can also use the drill to mine it. In order to use it, you need to sit on the crane. The crane is like a carnival ride in this respect. So just sort of position yourself so you can tab and sit on the crane. You can see the figure in there. And then you can operate the drill head. You can operate the crane by just using your mouse pointer and moving it all around. And you can dig into the ground. And it is very amazing. It's very much like a gigantic electric toothbrush. That is the best way to think about it. And then you can mine things just like it, if it was your terrain tool and it doesn't even use up any power. And you'll notice that the material gets deposited right on the truck. This is just a blast. I mean, I really feel like I am exploiting all the resources of this planet by digging these massive holes. One of the best things about the mining drill is that you can mine unminable resources. Let's go find some. And here we have found some sweet, sweet lithium. Now we can, of course, mine the lithium using our terrain tool. Now, as a seasoned lithium miner, I'll tell you that your terrain tool is not going to be able to harvest this large central block of lithium. You're going to need something a bit tougher, a bit more powerful. A drill head, perhaps? That's right. And right here we have our truck stationed. Let us jump in our crane and let's get to work. And the drill is able to chew right through that lithium material. As I mine, you'll see that the lithium is forming up on my truck. If there's not enough room for the lithium, it'll just get deposited on the ground and we can retrieve it later. And you never need to worry about running out of power in your backpack ever again. If you still don't believe me about the power of the drill, check out all of this lithium I have acquired. Eight lithium. I'm going to be swimming in batteries. Whoa. So now I'm going to go over actually constructing the crane. You can build a crane on a truck or you can build it on a rover. Here I have a rover ready to build a crane. Of course, if you build it on the rover, you'll need to tow it with a truck. The crane requires four copper to construct, but luckily enough, I can use all that lithium I have recently harvested and trade for some copper. Let's send off our little tradesman into space. Well, I guess while the trader is out, we can actually go over drill head construction. A drill head also requires copper, so make sure you get plenty of copper. And our copper has arrived. And always remember, it's very convenient to do shift click. Just hold down shift, click on the material node, and your materials automatically go there. And now we can construct a crane right on top of our rover. I've said it many times, but this is the wonders of additive manufacturing. The fancy name for 3D printers. If ever you want to impress the ladies and you're talking about 3D printers, call it additive manufacturing. Let us bring our truck over. All right, now we can hook up our rover, and of course we can put the drill there. So now we have this nifty setup where if, say you want to use your truck for storage, you can still bring a crane with you and tow it on a rover like so. Very nice. And hey, we're rich, let's flaunt our wealth, let's build a truck and build a crane on that truck. And thankfully we have battery power stored up so we can power up our vehicle bay. And now we can build, we can do our construction long into the night. 
All right, we got a crane. Let's put on the copper. And of course, the advantage with this setup is you could build a storage rack on the back of this particular truck, and then you can tow this unit around, and all your mining, all your materials can go right onto your storage rack. Very, very convenient. Let's try it out. You can, of course, construct the truck-based storage, which will put the giant triangle thing on the truck here with many more nodes. But for now, we're just going to use a regular storage unit. So let's just back in our truck. Going in reverse in this game is not exactly the easiest thing. And we can't forget our drill head. So I know I'm just going hog wild, building an unnecessary amount of cranes, but hey, maybe you have some friends unlike me, and then everyone can get their own crane, and their own drill, and you can all mine. It'd be a blast, it'd be a time. All right, let's go find some innocent resources and mine them. All right, these are some good looking resources that we can mine out. Yes, if you've ever been annoyed trying to clear out caves, of monsters, you can just use the drill head to sort of mess them up. And then, again, the main advantage is you don't have to worry about consuming too much power. But I digress. Let's get this laterite. And as you can see, the laterite is now forming onto my storage unit. Do note that as of the current version of the game of filming this, that's actually kind of bugged. And if you don't fully fill up the storage node with the resource, then it's going to be stuck on there, and you won't be able to get it off. So that is another reason why to use, you can use detachable storage spaces instead, because that way, if your storage unit gets bugged out, you can just discard it and build a new one. So, as you can see, using a setup similar to this, perhaps with one less crane and a lot more storage, you can drive all around a planet, and you can mine it of all the resources, you can strip mine it of everything it's worth, and bring civilization to these great heavenly spheres. Thank you so much for watching, consider subscribing, and good luck with your astro-engineering.